many times are we gonna have to have this conversation, guys? Jim, Nancy, I am terrible with names, and I know your names. This is just getting ridiculous. This is how many times we've spoken on the phone now. James, sorry. No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. No, Jim is short for James, so I'm not crazy. Cosmo. No, I'm still here. Um, look, I don't care if you guys make it a secret rare at this point. I really don't. It just needs to happen. It's the one thing Cyber Dragons have been missing. Like, that's just the one thing that they've been missing. You ask for Cosmo support. No, no, I understand your point there. I understand that people are going to want to play Power Bond in other decks, right? Like Ancient Gears. But here's my point, okay? No kid wants to be Crowler. Everyone wants to be Zane Truesdale. So just make it a Cyber Dragon card already. I don't know what to tell you guys, okay? I don't know what to tell you guys, but where, where can we compromise here? Where can we compromise? Don't give us a trap card! We don't need a trap card! That's right, we need Blackwing support! And Six Samurais! And Ninjas! And Cosmos too! Really? In today's episode, we have an overflow of Cyber Dragon content, okay? We have the new Cyber Dragon Overflow Trap Card, which I'm going to be talking about in this video. And I'm also going to be announcing something to you guys that I've been waiting to announce for a freaking month now. So I'm super excited for that. And then we're going to be opening up some Cyber Dragon related mail. But before we get into all of that, guys, I have to give a huge shout out to all my patrons. You guys are absolutely fantastic. Thank you guys all so much for your love and support, as always, as always. But now with that out of the way, guys, uh, let's go ahead and talk about the new Cyber Dragon Overflow. So the translation for this card is Cybernetic Overflow or Cyber Overflow. So one of those is probably going to be our official TCG name. It's not actually Cyber Dragon Overflow, but same thing. You guys know what I meant. So it says you can only use each effect of Cybernetic Overflow once per turn. Um, effect number one, banish any number of Cyber Dragons from your hand, graveyard, or face up that you control with different levels. Then destroy that many cards your opponent controls. So very situational requires you to control a lot of Cyber Dragons. So it's not like the best. I mean, it's good. It's like the decent effect don't get me wrong if you do get it off but it's just not very practical especially with it being a trap card and being slower so um effect number two and this is like the better effect um if this card on the field is destroyed by an effect you can activate this effect add one cyber spell or trap card from your deck to your hand and why that is good is because you can search out cyber repair plants which cyber repair plant currently is our best cyber spell trap card that we have in the game cyber network is another you know cyber spell trap card that we have but cyber network has the same problem with this new trap has you know it being a trap and being slow and also it has the same kind of uh, downside where it has to be destroyed by card effect you know to get like the effect that you really want in cyber networks case it's to ban you know summon all your banished the cyber dragons you know that you banished off its effect and in this case you know with the new card it's so you can get the search for the cyber repair plans most likely so um i don't know how i feel about this card but like i've said though previously guys cybernetic horizon is a ways off it is a long ways off so um who knows what's going to shape up with the deck what other support we're going to get and all that stuff so don't judge a book by its cover here you know like I've said, we don't know, you know, what cards are going to be good and when, so I'm just going to leave it at that right now. Uh, but now, but now, guys, for the huge announcements, let's go ahead and move over to the card wall. All right, you guys, so like I said a minute ago, I have something very exciting to show you, something I've been waiting a very long time to show you. I think, like, literally, like, a month. This has been a month in the making, guys. You all know that I work with MetaMats a lot, okay? MetaMats is fantastic, and you guys may have caught something on the stream the other night. It's our anniversary. It's our first year first full year in business and we wanted to kind of do something really exclusive and um you know different so we, we have a new fabric that we're going to be releasing um it's our first uh limited number run i didn't know you were going to be announcing this on the stream and david guys the owner of metamats is a complete and total badass okay he was he didn't have to be on stream with me the other night he really didn't have to be on stream with me the other night and it was easter he could have been with his family and all that stuff but he was on stream with me okay and he wanted to be on stream because he actually wanted to announce something unbeknownst to me okay so he really caught me off guard i was like whoa we're announcing that now no you're crazy the guy is way too humble man he was about to announce this huge news just on a random stream when like I would like like never stream ever and I'm like no dude no no we have to do this right because this is like the coolest thing we've ever done together you're crazy you're crazy so I had to like shut him down I was like no 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 stop just stop okay this you guys is going to be and he did explain this on stream you guys uh, this is going to be the first limited print run of a metamat ever Ever. And why that is a big deal is because me and him, why I let MetaMat sponsor me in the first place, guys, is because they don't do limited print runs. If you buy a map from them today, 
three years from now, you'd be like, hey, I spilled coffee on my mat or whatever. Like, you know, you can't get a free mat just all the time, you know what I mean? But if the circumstances are understandable or whatever, you get, a, you get another mat. It's just that simple, you know what I mean? Or if you just want another copy of a mat that you ordered years ago, you just, you get another mat. There's no, like, limited print runs. But this, guys, this mat, guys, it needs to be a limited print run. And here is why, okay? Here is exactly why. And I'm just going to show you guys right now because I'm excited, okay? <laughs> this is the new Cyber Dragon mat, guys. This is going to be the new limited Cyber Dragon mat. And why this is going to be limited, you guys, I don't think the design is going to be limited. But I know for a fact that the material that this mat will be made out of will be limited. And the reason why, guys, and this mat is absolutely amazing. I'll talk about me, you know, helping design this mat and stuff and the designer and all that stuff in a minute but what i'm saying right now guys is why this new mat needs to be a limited print run even though it's like the coolest mat ever oh my gosh i'm so excited i need to get this out of the way though we're gonna be releasing a, a limited number mat um i know in the beginning i said um you know that we're really against uh, the limited number and, and we really are but i feel like if it's limited to me it's limited to you <laughs> And, and that's really what it is. Uh, the fabric that we're using is very high end, very expensive, even for my cost. But um, I'm, I'm, I wanted to do something special for our one year business because all, everybody, uh, all you guys supported us and helped us uh, get to where we're at. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's gonna be something really cool. So just keep an eye out for that. Guys, these mats are gonna be made out of a very special new waterproof material that is so expensive that this mat right here, guys, this is just a test mat that he sent me, okay? He didn't send me like a mat made out of the actual actual material. This right here is just to make sure that I approved of the colors and the design, guys, because he wasn't gonna print me, you know, a mat, like a, a mat made out of this material that I'm talking about if I didn't like the design, you know what I mean? He's not gonna waste money on the material because this material is just that expensive and just that high quality it really is so that is why it has to be a limited print run it's just it has nothing to do with the design or or me or him or anything like that it is just the material that we have agreed to print this on for the first limited print run of a metamats ever and this is also celebrating one year of metamats being in business and also one year of me and them being in business together so this is guys this is just one huge big deal and the whole reason why i got into business with metamats you know in the beginning like the whole reason why i let them sponsor me in the beginning guys is because they are a mat company unlike any other mat company david is actually a friend of mine me and him are actually really close friends like he started off as my sponsor but we're like really good friends you know what i mean like he is seriously and the guy is so humble guys you don't you guys saw on stream the other night like the guy is absolutely amazing okay and i hate i hated to cut him off the other night because he's so freaking cool but guys this needed to be announced like just amazingly because i'm like dude this is like the coolest thing that we have ever made together ever like this is so freaking cool but Anyways, guys, so talking about the, moving on to like the design of this mat, okay, obviously it's got to have Cyber Dragons on it, you know what I mean, we, we, that was obvious from the start, we're like, man, we're going to be doing a limited edition Cyber Dragon mat, we're going to be doing like, you know, some sort of Cyber Dragon design for one year or whatever, like we, we knew that from the beginning, but what I decided on, and I'll just quote myself from the message that I sent him when I was, you know, talking with him over the design, and I finally decided on Klee for it, I finally decided that the Cyber Dragons should be battling Klee monsters, guys, this is, uh, you know, Clee Fort Scout, you know, taking out Cyber Dragon Infinity or whatever. Like, it's just, oh my gosh, it's so freaking cool. It's like so freaking cool. And then, of course, you have your Cyber Dragons over here. And then you have like your 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 all your your disc and like all your other oh my gosh it's freaking amazing guys it's just so freaking cool but uh, you have shell over here it's just it's so freaking cool but um this is why I chose Cleefort so this is just me quoting myself um, I, I I stated four reasons I was like you know because we were throwing ideas you know back and forth to each other trying to decide what the perfect counterpart for Cyber Dragons would be on this special mat you know what I mean and I finally was just like it's got to be Clee and I said I told him straight I was like here's why it's got to be Clee I mean four reasons reason number one. Klee Fort Genius is good in Cybers, but is a Klee card. So in other words, uh, through Klee Fort Genius, uh, Klee Forts and Cybers are kind of uh, linked in a way, you know what I mean? Um, so uh, reason number two, Klee are a rival machine deck. That just kind of goes without saying. Reason number three, Eugene and myself both diss on and or talk about Klee Forts on the channel all the time. So that's another reason why it just had to be, you know, it just had to be Klee Forts. And reason number four, and this is my favorite reason, I'm just going to quote myself, okay? You can't go into Chimera Tech with the Klee machine monsters, so the matchup back 
back in the day was kind of a bitch. <laughs> so that was, those are my four reasons, the four reasons why I chose Cleeforts uh, to be the counterparts to Cyber Dragons in this amazing mat. Once again, guys, this right here, um, this isn't even the final product. This was just sent to me, to, uh, you know, by Dave to make sure that I approved of this. And this, you know, just got my, literally, this is just my stamp of approval mat. You know what I mean? And everything is good to go. And guys, I just want to thank Dave again. Like, he's just fantastic. And I also want to shout out the artist. I'm also going to have her information pinned down in the comment section if you guys are interested in her. Um, her uh, her page on Facebook is Fate's Facility of Creations. And on Twitch, her, her name is twitch.tv, you know, slash uh, fortune cat. So that is her on Twitch and Facebook. Once again, I'll have those pinned down in the comment section. Uh, I want to thank her just so much for designing this because she did a fantastic job, an amazing job. The guys, the colors and everything on this are just amazing. It's Cleeforts and Cyber Dragons battling over this, just the city. And it's just, it's amazing. It's so freaking cool, guys. So freaking cool. I am, this is my new mat. <laughs> right here, this is my new mat that I've been playing on and testing on. I'm not even kidding. Uh, maybe not on camera, you know what I mean? Because I didn't want to spoil anything, of course. I couldn't announce it until today. But guys, I've seriously been playing on this mat and it's my new mat and it's just amazing. I'm so, so excited. Oh my gosh. Uh, I think I've said it all though, guys. I think I have now said it all. I just want to thank Dave and the artists and just everybody, you know, you guys watching this, everybody again for making this possible. Because I mean, seriously, without you guys, this wouldn't be possible either. Thank you guys all so, so much for supporting me and, and playing Cyber Dragons and keeping the deck alive with me. Thank you guys all so much. Like, it's just amazing. It's an amazing feeling and I freaking love this mat. I cannot say that enough. But now, but now guys, let's go ahead and get into some fan mail. And this one is from Spectre Collectibles. That seems really familiar. Is that one of my, is that one of my uh, card maker guys? The people that make me proxies? Or is that like an actual, or is this like an actual vendor? Because that seems really familiar either way. Because I have, I have some guys that, I, I have some people that have been on fan mail guys that seriously make like custom field centers and tokens and stuff like that. So sometimes I never actually know what I'm going to get. You know what I mean? I really don't. So uh, let's see what this is though. What is in here? So... Hey, here we go. Hello, Yugi no, no. I know we normally uh, send you field centers. That's what I thought. See, that's what I, I knew. I knew uh, that was really familiar. Uh, hey, hello, hello, Yugi no, no. I know we uh, normally send you field centers, but we couldn't uh, help but notice in your Cyber Dragon deck profile you were using charcoal rare card. While we do agree it's the hardest rarity to find, we felt like need, needing a cheat sheet to play Cyber Dragons would get a bit annoying. Hopefully these will help. Make playtesting a bit easier. Uh, we're still a bit new at making these, so sorry if they're not the same quality as our field centers enjoy. Your friend Spectre Collectibles. Thank you, thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much. What's really crazy is just the other day a guy, another guy that makes, um, you know, uh, Alistair man, he met, he messaged me uh, the other day on Facebook and was uh, offering to send me um, you know, uh, Cyber Dragons to, to test with, and I was like, no, thanks, dude. I mean, I'm fine. But then you guys just like straight don't even ask, like you just send them. <laughs> you guys blow my mind you really really do thank you so much that's so generous like i don't know how long it takes you to do this but thank you so so much and like guys like i, I don't i don't know you guys are just crazy you, you, you're just nuts you, you do this without me asking and i don't know how much time it takes you or anything but i just I just i appreciate it that's what that's really what i'm trying to get out here i just really really appreciate it um oh my gosh i can't wait to see these though guys we're gonna be testing cyber dragons in style until horizon oh my gosh this is gonna be so cool i'm so excited let's see what this is what is this? Oh, <laughs> boys. Wow. That is so sick. Oh, my gosh. Dude, thank you, guys. Thank you so much. That is so cool. That is so cool. Guys, oh, man, we're going to be testing Cyber Dragons in style, man. And I don't even care, man. I want to play these in tournaments, dude. I want to play these. No one's going to care. No one's going to, like, you know, challenge Yugi Jesus and call a judge. I ain't even playing. These things are freaking awesome. I'm going to play these that whole season. If Cyber Dragons are, you know, are going to be a contender, and which, you know, I'm super excited for. You guys all know me. And, you know, if they are going to be a contender for that, uh, you know, uh, if they're going to be a main contender after um, Cybernetic Horizon comes out, I'll play these over the real Seeker. I freaking will I'll, like call me out for it i don't care <laughs> okay i'm playing these just the guys guys specter collectibles thank you so so much thank you so much for everything you do for me you guys are absolutely amazing subscribe <laughs>